this is uh, Ponytail again with the continuation of my uh, homemade collimator and Cheshire video. Um, this is about the Cheshire and uh, basically what I've got is a piece of uh, inch and a quarter of stainless steel tube which happens to come from a vacuum cleaner but it's a perfect fit. Um, what I've done is I've got a a length of uh, stainless steel tube, cut a uh, 245s or roughly 245V and halfway through the tube. As you can see there, it's uh, as long as one face of it's reasonably close to 45 degrees, the other one is just purely so you can see it. Um, there's a, a block of resin in there which I've uh, made from uh, plastic metal, from car body filler. Uh, plastic metal is is a bit harder than the normal soft filler for panel filling. Um, mixed it up, um, poured it into a uh, film canister which I've made a hole in the center of which it happens to be a pimple in the center of the cap and the bottom of the container from when it's made in the factory. Um, I, I melted a small hole in both ends with a, with a hot uh, nail and filled it full of resin and then you can cut the end off at 45 degrees when it's set and um, if you if you leave a screwdriver or, or a nail in it while it's set in and pull that out afterwards you've got a nice hole in there roughly 3 sixteenths of an inch depending on the size of your nail that uh, gives you a nice um, hole in the center for your laser a nice straight hole so that uh, if you use a laser or as a peep sight you've got a nice hole in the center of it not too large um, my laser that I made on the last program, um, last video, actually with a bit of film canister in there in the end um, and the laser pushed in snugly into the end of the uh, stainless steel tube and just give that a good push in there because it's a nice tight fit. You end up with a, uh, a laser Cheshire combination. Um, as you can see when I turn my laser on you get a laser light through the hole in the center of the resin and when this is fitted into the um, focuser of my telescope you actually get a return image um, from your mirrors when it's all lined up collimated you get a return image which uh, you can, has a nice bright red light I'm just trying to get a image return not there you are you can see an image moving across the face of the of the uh, the Cheshire there, let's do a clearer shot. So, as you can just see there on that video, you can there it is. You can actually see a nice bright spot on there, which is a return image of the laser through the through the Cheshire to a mirror and back up, which is what, basically what you get inside your telescope. But if you've got a donut ring on your main primary mirror, you will also get a faint circular reflection on the face of that uh, 45 degree cut of your donut and if everything's correct you'll get your you'll get the donut around the outside of this hole you'll get a, a shadow or a ring image around the outside of the hole and then you adjust your primary mirror so that your your return laser comes back and drops into the center so you've got laser back onto the laser you shouldn't really if you if you've done it correctly you you won't even see that laser in the center it'll just brighten um, the laser you can see through the 45 just brighten as you get it in the center because you've got a, a double laser light so it gets quite bright um, I can show you that a little bit with this mirror perhaps just like so you can see that if I move off center it's quite easy to see when you've got it in the middle center a nice bright a bright image makes collimation really straightforward and simple uh, you can always check the actual collimation of your laser by placing the whole thing like this as an assembly into a V block with a laser with a laser switched on if you put it in a V block and aim it at a wall perhaps uh, 10 or 12 
feet away or even further you end up with a, a spot on the wall if you can adjust your laser so that stays on the one spot then you know you've got a nice straight laser beam through 360 degrees rotation uh, that's really what you're looking for before you collimate your telescope hope that helps uh, it's quite a simple thing to make and uh, if you wrote the cap you use to make the actual uh, 45 degree piece to go in there and the cap off the end got a hole in the center you can put that back onto the end of the vacuum tube and use it without the laser just as a peephole site but if you look on the website link of Niels Olaf Carlin which uh, I will put on the video when it's processed um, and that, that explains everything how it works and uh, how collimation should be done which you really need to read from one end to the other before you start making these gadgets but otherwise it's a great website and I recommend it to anyone clear skies everyone